Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, I'd really appreciate it if you could head on and subscribe to me. So today I'm going to take you with me for a day in the life at the yard. So I've got four horses to ride today. I'm riding all four of them. We are going to be doing dressage. We're going to be training a young horse. We're going to be doing pole work. We're going to jump and we're even going to do some bareback bitless, tackless sort of stuff. So should be a busy one, but it should be quite fun. So a lot of people have asked me to show you a day in the life at the yard. So I'm really excited about this video. I'm excited to take you with me and I really hope you enjoy it. So. <laughs> so first up on the list is Sunny. So we're gonna do some dressage on Sunny today and probably do some poles as well. So with Sonny, I always start off giving him a nice groom. Obviously, it's been very wet in England recently, so he's been very muddy. So brush all the mud off him like so, and then I'm going to get the main brush and go through his mane and tail because he gets really, really knotty tail, and he likes to get it covered in shavings. I tack up is boots first, I do saddle pad second, gel pad, saddle and then obviously finish with the bridle. I do this because if you put the bridle on before the saddle then they can just walk off so and you don't want to tie them up when they've got a bit in their mouth. Sonny can be really cheeky putting the bridle on and as you can see he did just try and make the great escape but obviously I'm quite tall so I managed to catch him luckily. <laughs> Today on Sunny we're going to do a bit of stretch and then we're going to pick him up and we're going to do some pole work. So he likes pole work, he does kind of fall over them a little bit so we'll see how he goes today. Um, it's great variation training for him and it keeps him nice and alert. So. so with all my horses I do like to give them a nice long walk to help them warm up and stretch their muscles. Um, this is quite important to me in training. I then do a nice stretchy trot again to help them warm up and help them stretch. This does particularly help Sonny, he likes to stretch before we get going. I then like to do leg yields either side, help him bend through his body. Same again in canter, I do think it's really important to make them stretch in both trot and canter before you pick them up. So the first time we come to do poles, Sonny does love to pretend like he's never seen them before, like so. He does then get the hang of things and looks beautiful. By this point, Sonny was feeling absolutely amazing and balanced, so I decided to do some changes. Here we are doing two times changes and he felt absolutely fantastic. So we did some more changes and then did some more poles and then had a stretch and then on to the next one. Thank you. 
Then Sonny got to go out in a turnout pen for the entire afternoon, which he was happy about. This is number two today. This is Artie, our baby. He is so cute and he's actually one of my favourite to ride at the minute because he's learning so fast. I've been teaching him um, to be a bit straighter recently and to do a nice clean canter transition each way. So I'm going to try and show you this today if he cooperates with me. And then we're going to do some trotting poles on him because they're so good to make him think as a young horse. So with the first go over, he was a really good boy, but he wouldn't go straight over them. So that's why we're kind of off to the side. Second time over, he was so much better and actually started picking up his little legs, so. I've recently taught him his canter transitions and he's quite green at them, but today we got it perfectly and I'm so proud of him. Look at him go. So after being such a little angel in true young horse fashion, he decided to test me a little bit and stick his head in the air. And he is so strong when he does that, but we did get him back and he was so much better. And then here's another little example of him being a bit of a nightmare, but he did um, listen to my aids and get so much better again. So we definitely came somewhere. I gave him a long walk off after that as it's really important to help him cool down, hopped off and then it was time to set up the jumps. I have recently just learned about striding and for a bounce it's three of our strides and then for a double it is eight strides so two for landing, four for them in the middle and then two for takeoff. So this is Teddy, he's my jumping horse. Um, with him, I do very much the same way as tacking up Sunny, but obviously um, jumping tack is a little bit different. So I have just had to learn how to put on a martingale and uh, where to fasten all the straps and stuff. But I do think I'm getting the hang of it now. This is actual footage of me, a dressage rider shortening my stirrups. I never thought I'd see the day. So Teddy is 18 and he does start off a little bit stiff when we get going, so I like to do nice long trot and stretch with him. Um, when he's got his jumping tack on, he doesn't stretch very well, but we are doing some dressage on the side to help him with this. I then go and do the same in canter. I do think it's really important he gets to warm his muscles up and I've been playing around with the speed of his canter to try and get his hind legs more underneath him and therefore help us in the jumping. And he's been getting a lot nicer and I'm obviously learning with him. So our jumps are getting a little bit better, I think. So we do always try to warm up over just one jump. We think that's better for them. So as you can see, first jump, he does it easily. After a few practice jumps, he was feeling good, so I decided to try the bounce. He was running off with me a lot here, so I did have to go and try it again. And then I decided to do them on the other rein, mainly because we were going to set up a bigger jump at the end. And this rein was really good, he liked that, but I do think it's important to train them on both reins where possible. By this point, Teddy's canter was starting to feel much better, so I set up a jump at the end, just a little one, so we did the bounce, then that one, and it felt really good, so we put it up to a straight, and I brought him around, I was trying to half out him a little bit so he didn't go too runny, because he was really excited this day, and he was getting much nicer as we went along. <laughs> So we had a lot of fun, I was super pleased with him, we're growing together as a partnership every single day and I'm getting way more confident, so gave him a nice long walk off and then popped him away, ready to ride Billy.
last but by no means least is Billy Bob's. Um, we're going to do tackless on him. Um, he's been absolutely loving tackless work recently. He's so well behaved when it comes to um, having no bridle and he really likes being ridden bareback. Um, he has had a bad back in the past so we do find this is very good for him to not have a saddle on and just to feel less weight. Um, obviously he's very easy to tack up so he just gets a quick brush so I don't get too dirty and I put the reins on his um, head collar and then we were ready to go. We have no bridle and no saddle on Billy today. So we started off doing bareback because he really likes it for his back. It makes him feel great. But then he was so trustworthy that we took his bridle off to try and he was an absolute angel. So we're going to have a little bit of fun today and a little bit of an easy day for him. Much attacking to be done there. <laughs> okay, so all horses um, are either going to go in the field now or have been before I ride. Um, I like variation on the horses, so I really like them to get out and. 
get a, have a roll outside, eat some grass and you know, just be horses. So yeah, we've got a couple going out and a couple of them went out beforehand. So, so that is a riding day in life for me. Um, four horses done, we've done dressage, we've done jumping, we've done tackless. Um, it's been a nice busy day and I really enjoyed it, but now I'm, now I'm off to work. So I've got to go, um, got some orders to pack. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it.